In the heart of a generation fighting for liberation, there emerged a young man known among his fellow comrades as Danger Ya Ashipala. His name was Reuben Michael Ashipala Shihama, and his journey began in the village of Omaandi, nestled in the Ogongo area, on a significant date, the 26th of August, 1947. This date held great political importance, marking the beginning of Namibia's armed liberation struggle, a 23-year-long battle that started in 1966. In his youth, Comrade Commander Ashipala tended to his parents' cattle while attending primary school in Ogongo. Seeking better opportunities, he later ventured to Walvis Bay, where he became an ardent sportsman, boxing as an amateur and playing football for the coastal team Eleven Arrows. But like many of his peers, the call of freedom led him to exile in 1974, through Angola and into Zambia. There, he was selected to receive military training in the Soviet Union, USSR, specializing in reconnaissance. Returning to Zambia after completing his training in 1975, he joined the ranks of PLAN, People's Liberation Army of Namibia. Known affectionately as Comrade Commander Danger, he was deployed to the Northeastern Front under Commander Mbulunganga. His exceptional skills earned him the position of Chief of Reconnaissance, where he excelled in his duties. In February 1978, an important operation was planned against enemy positions in Elundu, near Ianhana, at the Ohengono Well. Leading a group of brave fighters, Danger's unit successfully attacked the enemy at the waterhole, resulting in several enemy casualties and the capture of sapper Johan van der Mersch. As the sun set, Commander Danger and his group hurried toward the border to evade enemy reinforcements. Johan, the hesitant captive, found himself willingly embracing his newfound comrade's cause. Their triumphant return to the Northeastern Front headquarters in Ohaipeto was met with joy and admiration from their fellow comrades and other plan fighters. Despite relentless pursuits by South African soldiers, van der Merscht remained captured, marking a historic moment in the armed liberation struggle. Following his remarkable feats, Comrade Commander Danger, along with Commander Zulu, was transferred to the newly established Northern Front as its chief of reconnaissance. In due course, he joined Plan's special unit Typhoon, where he continued to serve with dedication. In the late 1980s, Comrade Commander Danger assumed the role of regional commander of the Northeast Front, succeeding Commander George Chicken Kawawena. He led this position until 1989, when, after 15 years of fierce armed struggle and countless clashes with the enemy, he was repatriated back to Namibia. With the birth of Namibia's independence, Comrade Commander Danger transitioned to the National Defense Force, NDF, holding the rank of Lieutenant Colonel. In 1996, he was transferred to Nampol, Namibian Police Force, as the commander of the newly formed Special Field Force Unit, attaining the rank of Commissioner. Throughout his years of unwavering service to his country, Comrade Commander Danger remained steadfast. However, on the 10th of May 2010, Windhawk mourned his untimely passing. The shock and sorrow reverberated through his comrades, friends, and the entire nation. In his final resting place, the village, he was honored with military funeral rites, a tribute fitting for a true hero. The legacy of Danger Ya Ashipala, a gallant warrior for freedom, lives on in the annals of Namibia's history. We fought seven of battles successful under the leadership of, of, of Comrade Danger Ashipala. So these were the significant missions that I shall always address. He commanded the special group of plan, later known as Typhoon, which operated mainly deep inside Namibia, particularly in the provincial areas of the north.